Hey y'all, this is Dawn with Double D Chicks and Stuff Homestead. How are you doing on this Sunday afternoon? I am out here in the garden. I have planted my collards over the past two weekends. I've got over 100 plants. I planted about 24 broccoli plants and I think right now I've got 12 cabbage plants. I've got to get a few more of those. But this tarp thing is awesome. I am going to be getting more um, because I've got tomatoes still producing so I don't want to pull them up yet. And I've got a few pepper plants producing. I don't want to pull those up yet. And I still have my okra and it is doing great. But anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, my little bit of a winter garden. I am also in the process of tilling up um, another little section for carrots and um, beets and some radishes. And that is what that little section right there is. So, Hold on just a second and I will show you my collards and my cabbage and my broccoli. I've got a few worms I caught in there last night so I'm going to have to do with something with that because I am not going to have them eat all my broccoli out this time. So isn't that awesome? Goes all the way down there to the end. Uh, broccoli. Let's see. This is the cabbage row right here. Um, the next row is my broccoli. And then the next four rows, all the way down, is my collards. So, we hope to be winter ready when it comes to the holidays. Everybody knows South Carolina is a big collard state, and we like our collards. So, I should have plenty of them to share with family and friends by the time it gets time to uh, cut them off and do what we got to do with them. Now over here, these are my um, sweet potatoes. I was told that the vine had to turn and die off before I could pull them up, so I'm just letting them go. Something's been digging holes in the leaves, but it doesn't seem to be deterring the growth on them, so I'm just gonna let them go until they start dying off, and then we'll figure out a way of, I guess, digging them up. I've never done it before, so that's something new for me as well. Not sure if y'all are familiar with South Carolina bugs, but it is September and now the noceums are out. Between the noceums, the gnats, and the mosquitoes, it is a pain in the butt coming out here in the late afternoons because between the three of them, you're smacking yourself constantly. I have bruises where I have scratched where they have bit me. So this is some of my bell pepper plants. They still have a few on it, but the grass is just terrible and I hope not to have this problem next year. Sorry about the shots. My husband and my son are doing a little bit of dove hunting um, late in the afternoon because they seem to be flying better. This is one of my hot banana peppers. Um, it still looks like it's thriving. It's got a few peppers on it. I thought I had pulled them all off but it looks like it's trying to get some more flowers so we'll just let it go. I may come out here and pull some of this morning glory away from it because it is trying to choke it out. But as long as it's producing, I'm not going to pull it up. If there is nothing else I can produce, I can definitely produce me some jalapeno peppers. These two plants have been loaded from the time they started producing. And my husband and I don't eat these things that fast. So if there's anybody who wants some jalapeno peppers, give me a shout out. I'll be happy to ship you some. But I'm going to tell you right now, these things will light you on fire. My daughter-in-law thought I was trying to kill her with these things. They were so hot. And then, of course, here is my okra. It is still producing. Still got blooms on it. I came out here and picked it yesterday. And, of course, with my senile old self, I could not get all of them the last time I picked it. So of course I had to throw those away because they were too tough. I have collected some and saved some for uh, seeds for next year, but it, for some reason I just missed a bunch of them, but it's okay. I got plenty in the freezer and I'm still putting them in there. And look at this elderberry bush, isn't it pretty? I don't think that it will produce any flowers this year, but hey, that's all right. I'm still happy with it. It's growing and the limbs on it are getting thick. So hopefully that means they'll be fine. And I also have a couple more. Um, they were small, but even the small one right there that I didn't think was going to come back, it did. And 
So these ones are doing as well. So I've got one, two, three, four, five in total. So hopefully this time next year, I will have my own elderberries so I can make my own elderberry, zinc, vitamin C mixture, whatever it is that is good for you. And of course, here is my blueberries. Um, I got one that's doing good. I got one that looks like it's trying to die off and then I've got one that's in between. Of course, if I was gonna get a winner out of blackberry bushes, this one here is doing awesome. And it is the thornless, so that's even better. I know I still have not trellised them up, but I will get to it, I promise. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, but hopefully soon. Same way with this other grapevine. It's uh, stretching itself out across the ground and I've got to get it up because it's, um, it's starting to get out there. I've got this one little grapevine. It's got the uh, muscadine grapes on it. I've already picked, it's been about a cup full, but I figured for this being such a small plant and it give me already a cup to a cup and a half of grapes that are really sweet, I thought that was great. And look here at this little tiny fig tree that I have. It's not growing up, but can you see right there? There's two of them. There's one up underneath of it. And then I've got another one over here. It's got several figs there, several down there, got some coming out right here. So I am just pleased because I just bought this fig tree earlier this year. This is one of the ones I got from Tractor Supply that they had marked down to $4.99. And I said, well, We'll try it. If it lives, it lives. If it don't, we'll just try it and put something else down. But it looks good. And as you can see, my zinnias are starting to die out. But the ones that are still blooming are extremely vibrant. Look how pretty those colors are. I'm going to go behind and cut some of the, the dead ones off. So I'll have seeds for next year because I love these things. And they, a little while ago, they had bees and butterflies all over them. Look at the size of these ones right here. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? I've got a few white ones, yeah, over there. And those boxes over there, I planted some onions in it, and I'm not sure where I'm going to put in the other one, but I want to get a few more boxes to put out here around the outside of this that will help with uh, the bees, feed for the bees, and just to make it look good. Sorry, put some new some more new wood chips down. Try to keep some of this grass out of this side. My lavender bush is still doing good. I'm not really sure what this is, but these are some cute, dainty little flowers and the bees seem to love it. Let's see, I've still got the tag in there. I thought I had pulled it out. Let me see what it is. It is called a mounding perennial. What is it? Salvia. So, let me put it back for next time when I forget what it is and have to find out again. And this thing here, it just took off. And the bees love it too. So, I'm slowly but surely getting this grass gone from out of here. I got one apple tree left out of, I had two, and the other one died off. So I've got to get another one because I know they have to have pollinators. I think they have to have two, but I'll have to check that and see.
So I just want to give you a little update of how my garden's going and my honeybee garden and of course the South Carolina nasty pain in the rear end bugs. <sighs> Sorry. But anyway, just remember life is too short to watch it fly by. Y'all have a great evening. Please like and subscribe to Double D Chicks Stuff Homestead. Peace out.